I'm gonna sing for you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna sing for you. Gonna sing for you, baby. I'm gonna sing for you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna sing for you. Gonna sing for you, baby. Get your loot right, people. That's coming up on iTunes next week. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. Yeah, you know, I'm holding it down one more time for PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, we're gonna to be showing you guys how to create karaoke text using Pinnacle Studio, and I'm gonna show everybody out there how to do it using Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and it's time for us to go ahead and show you how to get a few karaoke things going on in your life. But before I jump off into that, I need to tell you a few quick things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that. It lets people know that the content in this video is good. Comments, leave me your comments, I'll hit you off with answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And lastly, you gotta subscribe. All right, people, subscribing is the key to pleasure, okay? Because guess what? If you subscribe to this channel, then you will know whenever I upload videos, and then you won't miss out on any of the sweet Pinnacle Studio goodness that I'm bringing to you, all right? Let's make this karaoke thing happen. First thing we wanna do is we want to make sure that we have the second audio video track selected and we wanna click on the Create Title tool. The reason why we want the second track selected is because we're gonna use the track above it in a minute, all right? So you can use the third or the fourth track, whatever you want, but just make sure you have a track above it open and available. So I'm gonna click on the Create Title tool. Now, if you want to know more about creating titles and you wanna have a basic understanding of the title editor, in total, then you can check out my uh, title editor tutorial and learn a lot more about the title editor in there. But let's go ahead and knock this out first. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna come to my background settings and I wanna click on background settings and you have an option here. If you want to, you can drag something over from your pictures or your videos from any one of these tabs that are available here and you can drag any one of these backgrounds into this background drop zone or you could just change the color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this and i'm going to change the color so i want the color to be kind of like a bluish color for my background i think that's good there and i'm going to click on apply now I have a nice blue background for my words to be, because a lot of karaoke is has a blue background or purple or colors like that. So either use a color or drag over a photo or even drag over a video if you wanna have a video, it's up to you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in my text. So I wanna type in one line of text at a time. The reason why I want to do one line at a time is because I need to be able to control each line later on in the tutorial to make the colors come across the screen when the song is being played. So I'm just going to do one line and I'm going to drag this up here to the top. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do copy layer. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on paste. Now it still only looks like there's just one layer, but if you look down here, there are two layers now. All right. So I'm going to go to the second layer and select it. And then I'm going to type my next line of text. Now I'm gonna place my cursor until I see the crosshairs and I'm gonna drag this down. And now you can see 
there are two lines of text. Now I'm going to right click again and I'm going to do paste again. And you see here's another line of text. So I'm going to go down to the third one and you get the routine. So I'm going to fast forward this part here. So this last one of text is kind of big, so I'm going to change the size of my font. I'm just going to left click so that everything is highlighted within this line. I'm going to go down to the font size. And I'm going to change it to 60. And I'm just going to do that with all of them. All right, so, so far I like how everything looks. So I'm going to click on each one of these. I'm going to hold down my control key so that I select all of them. And then I'm going to come over here to the group align button. I'm going to click on that and make sure that everything is centered horizontally so that it looks so crisp and so clean. And I'm loving the way this looks right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. The next thing I want to do is I want to drag this out to the length of my song. So let's just pretend like my song was 20 seconds long or whatever. You should have your song in the track below the title just so that you can use it as a reference. You can play your music as you go along. And you're going to need to play your music as you go along later on in the tutorial. But just make sure that you have your music down in the timeline track below here. I'm not using any music because I don't want to have to worry about any type of copyright issues on YouTube. Okay, because you know YouTube will get you. Oh, they'll get you. They'll get you. So now that I've stretched out my title to the same length as my song or the part of the song that I'm doing right now, whatever the case may be, I'm going to right click on the title, I'm gonna do copy, and I'm going to right click and do paste. And I'm going to drag this copy title above the title we've been working on. Just like I said, I would. Okay. So now I'm going to double click on the title that's on top. And the first thing I need to do is make sure that you can see both of the titles at the same time. So since there is a blue background on this title, I need to remove that. So I'm going to go to background settings and I'm going to drag this opacity meter all the way to the left until I see a full checkerboard here, which means that now, this title is see-through except for the words. The reason why we still see blue is because there's a title with the blue background underneath this one. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is change the color of all of these to the same color. So I'm going to click to select and do control and select all of them. I'm going to go to face. Now I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to make them all yellow. You can make them whatever color you want. It's up to you. So now all of these are yellow. But I don't want them to stay yellow. I want them to change to yellow as the song is being played. So what I need to do is drag these layers over to the right. I'm dragging these over because I don't want them to be visible right now. You can see that the yellow is disappearing as I drag this over. And the reason why the yellow is disappearing because there's a title underneath it that just has white letters. So now this line is set first. So now I want to go down and make sure that this one is selected by left clicking on it. And then I want to go to motions. And then I want to go to enter. And I want to select words fade. So I'm going to click on that. 
And now if I play this, you'll see the yellow come onto the screen one word at a time. So that's great for karaoke. So if I'm playing the song, then I want to position this first part right where the individual starts singing. So when they say, oh, say, can you see this little white pill all the way to the left needs to be right where they start saying that. So you can play your title and it'll play the music because remember, we put the music in underneath this. So the music will play and then you can drag this to wherever he starts saying that line. And then you want to drag the second part to make it match up to the end of when he finishes saying it. And that way the line or the words will turn yellow as they're singing. So if they're singing right now, it's, oh, say, can you see? Well, it's still a little too early. So I need to drag this back over. And then I try it again. Oh, say, can you see? And that's pretty good. It came out yellow right as I was singing it. So I would leave this one like this. And then I would play it till they start saying the next line. Let's say they start saying by the dawn's early light right there. Then I'm going to drag this over to there because this is the line for by the dawn's early light. And I'm going to go to enter. And I'm going to apply words fade again. I'm going to drag this to when he stops saying that line or when the singer stops saying that next line. And you get the routine. You see what I'm doing here. Beginning of this of this line, end of this line, make it match up and use words fade so that the words, the yellow comes onto the screen as they're saying what they're saying. All right, now that I got all of that stuff in place, I'm going to click on OK. And if you were to play this back to the lovely melodious sounds of the Star Spangled Banner, you would hear the song and see this. All right, people, that's it. Karaoke Pinnacle Studio style. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction, click on it, all right? When you click on it, it tells people out there that you like this content. Comments, leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. Last but not least, you got to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I upload videos and then you'll be missing out on all of the fun and all of the learning. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.